Meantime, your pitching probables for Tuesday night's ball game in Anaheim. Battle of right-handers, Jaime Barria taking the ball for the Angels. He's made six starts, two and two, with about a four and a half ERA as a starter. And then Jamison Tyone, who's, as we have talked about over the last couple months, Jack, has been so good, but his last outing against the A's did not go well, didn't get through the fourth. Yeah, he struggled in that game, only pitched three and two-thirds innings, as you mentioned, Bob. But prior to that, we're talking about a two-month period where he has been one of the best pitchers in the American League. So he had that hiccup in his last start. He needs to bounce back because the Yankees need to bounce back. Yes, they had that 13-game winning streak, but they've lost three in a row. They want to get some traction back and go back to what they were doing so well, winning series. They're a better team than the Angels. They'd love to win these next two games in Anaheim. Then they have the Baltimore Orioles waiting for them when they head home on Friday at Yankee Stadium. So that's another soft part of the schedule. What is amazing to me, Bob, is the Yankees are on a 34-14 and 14 run, which is just incredible. And you think that that would allow you to climb even closer in the division. In that period of time, they've actually lost one game to the Tampa Bay Rays. So you take care of your own business, as DJ LeMahieu said. Try and continue to keep playing well. And as you keep an eye on the Rays, just make sure you are maintaining a firm hold on that wild card. Yeah, it's been good for him in the wild card, not the division so far.